And tonight, the University of Maryland is creating its own breeze, actually a lot stronger than a breeze. They're trying to prepare for hurricanes, and the way they're doing that is building a wind tunnel that shows them the damage it can cause. ABC 7 Sam Sweeney got a firsthand look as he stood in the tunnel. You got it. It's a one-of-a-kind piece of technology in the Washington, D.C. area. A wind tunnel responsible for the development of everything from airplanes to Olympic uniforms. Today, it shows us the power of a hurricane. You sure it's tight? So I suited up and went in. We're about 30 miles an hour right now. We're going to go to 40. The photographer is getting pushed away. And he's going to get out now, and now we're going to go to about 120 miles an hour. And within seconds, there we are, 120 miles per hour. I struggle to stay grounded. This kind of wind would cause heavy property damage and put dangerous projectiles soaring through the air. A climate scientist from the University of Maryland explains what we need to prepare for. We're expecting a lower than average hurricane season. However, if we go back to 1992, that was the year of Hurricane Andrew. That was also an El Nino year, and we had a Category 5 hurricane that made disastrous landfall in the Miami area. Back in the tunnel, the wind starts to take its toll. We just disconnected. That was intense. That simulates a Category 3 storm. And man, did that give me a workout on my thighs. Experts here at the University of Maryland want everyone to know, while this simulation looks fun, we need to be prepared for the worst. Have a plan, have an emergency kit, and be ready for whatever Mother Nature brings us. Reporting at the University of Maryland, I'm Sam Sweeney, ABC 7 News.